All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, this really should be an episode of School Reviews with NJ to the City. Um, because School Reviews, once again, is another series on my YouTube channel that I literally announced, like, last year. But then to capitalize on that note, I think I announced, like, probably ten or more series on my channel in the last year. Or the last two years. Now, I don't know how many episodes I've actually done of all these series. But I know I only, only started, like, probably two or three at this point. Or maybe four. I don't really know. Um, but, um, this definitely should be School Reviews with NJ to the City. Because I got a School Review to... Definitely get to. Now, I definitely, um, with school reviews, I should be telling y'all the names of the schools, and I should be telling y'all also who left the comment. But I'm definitely still don't feel that comfortable doing either one of those. I just feel comfortable telling you the school review. But um, rest assured you, this definitely has to do with a K through eight uh, school, because the comment literally has K through eight in it, so I can't really jump around it. And um. Any, I know everybody who watched this, this video is probably, I mean, it's probably going to take, I don't know how long to get to probably five or ten views, or if more, even more. So you probably definitely will not see what I posted on my Snapchat um, tonight discussing the school review. But I just know that I wouldn't have read it if I wasn't going through my iPad um, on Safari trying to find uh, things to, um, well, pages to, pages to put on my home screen. So I, can, so I can use that existing home page as um, uh, so I can use that existing home page to look up something else. Now I usually don't jet off in the middle of, of recording, but because I need to go pause something on my television, I'm gonna jet off right quick. Not for too long, but just for like a couple seconds. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Still here, two minutes. Um, you could t have time that if you wanted to, but um, so yeah, um, school reviews with me, NJ to the city on my Brotherhood Nation Entertainment YouTube channel. Just let everybody know once again, K through eight schools definitely um with the school review I'm gonna read to you. K through eight schools in in Nocatee itself, or not? I mean, see that's county school district. But we got two in Nakati. We got PVA, Palm Valley Academy, which is, I, w I wanted them to name that school, Palm Valley Academy. And then you got Valley Ridge over there in uh, Greenleaf, Nakati. Uh, anybody that's new to my work, I promote both those schools to the fullest. I promote not only those schools, but I promote Nice to its fullest, and I promote pretty much our entire county to its fullest. I call myself like the independent ambassador of all this because nobody is literally going on predominantly Snapchat almost every single day promoting Valley Ridge, Nice, PVA, uh, or Nakati itself. You know, I'm promoting all of it because I just love people. I love the community, and I want to continuously be a part of it for the wealth, growth, health, and development through Jesus Christ's salvation, all things of which strengthens us. Um, by the way, I'm a very religious, Jesus-oriented person. If you did not know that, you can look again once again up and down the YouTube channel and on my uh, Twitter and Snapchat as well. Uh, Twitter and Snapchat are the same thing. NJ number to the city is just that with Twitter, it's uh, spelled capital N, capital J, number two, uh, capital T, lowercase H, G, uh, capital C, lowercase I, T, Y. Uh, the Snapchat is NJ to the city, all lowercase. All put together. But um, K through eight in um, St. John's County School District itself, I can rest assure you, has uh, been existing for quite a few years now. And I can rest assure you, um, I want to say a decade, but I really don't particularly know. I, I know somebody that I talked to um, over at Nice um, for one of the girls' soccer games this past season or two seasons two seasons ago. I think of this past season. She told me that uh, Liberty Pines was actually the first uh, K-8 that the county had built so they could see whether K-8s would work. And thus far, I don't know how many k weights we have, but we've built quite a few um, after that. Uh, my favorite k weight, if I had a favorite, would definitely be Valley Ridge Academy. Uh, but I like to try to put Valley Ridge Academy and Palm Valley Academy in the same sentence because they're both in Nocatee. 
Uh, Palm Valley is the one that just opened up, which is right across the street from me. I live in Enclave, uh, and um, Palm Valley Academy is like right there, fairly close to a 20 mile, and so forth. But again, if you drive uh, towards the, um, um, like if you know where Landrum Middle School is, or Palm Beach High School is, and where that Gates gas station is, and you know where that big knockity sign is, you keep driving, uh, you know, past the, uh, um, the knockity sign, you know, like you're driving this way, not this way, you're driving this way, past the knockity sign, and you'll see Palm Valley Academy right there. So, um, I don't know why uh, St. Charles, Charles County has literally kept the same design for multiple uh, of our schools, predominantly the K-8 and the, um, I want to say K-8s and elementary schools. I don't know about the middle school. I think probably the middle schools too, but definitely the K through eights in the uh, elementary schools. I don't know why, because I could swear there's like three or four of our middle schools that look exact, not middle, elementary schools. There's like three or four, if not more, of our elementary schools, I swear to you, they look the exact same. The exact same. Now, the reason why I also say that, because Palm Valley Academy looks the exact same, if I'm not mistaken, as Valley Ridge. The exact same design. Um... I think uh, Freedom Crossing does too. I don't really know. But I know that we have like multiple K-8s that look exactly the same. The one I know for sure is not the same. I def definitely believe is uh, Liberty Pines or Patriot Oaks. One of those two that literally is not the exact same. But it's amazing that entire circle that you have P uh, not PVA. You have Liberty Pines, Patriot Oaks, Creekside, and... Bartram literally all clumped together. That big little circle over there where you got them all clumped together. Um, I haven't fully seen any of those schools in person yet, but it's quite amazing where they where they all are located and how they're all clumped together. Um, but um, K through eight in St. John's County School District, um, ladies and gentlemen, they can co cohesively work together, um, coexist. But you just have to know what you're doing towards. The faculty and staff have to know what they're doing towards treating the children. You could even say kind of like their own kids. But if not like their own kids, possibly better than their own kids. Because I understand some faculty and staff have no clue what they're doing, even with their own kids. I hate to say that, but again, you got like literally a long list of, you know, statistics and facts, research that bag it up. I have none with me right now, so please do not fully try to hold me to that, but just know that the evidence is there and it exists. You know, I can go on many levels of how it exists, but I'm not going to do all that in this video. But I can rest assure you that I literally feel like, cause again, anybody who does not know me, Nathaniel Joshua, NJ to the City Williams, graduated from East High School May 24th of last year, 2018, as a fifth year senior. And rest assure you, this fifth year senior built a legacy, made a legacy, uh, predominantly, most of the school knows me. Um, I'm the ambassador of the school in many rights and um, love everybody. You could even say the most popular kid in school, if not one of the most po popular kids in school. And I definitely, you know, made it my goal and my mission definitely over the past three years um, there to go out there and meet as many freshmen as I could possibly, um, as a school student that is, um, possibly meet as many freshmen as I could to help um, usher them into Nice. Um, why? Because I love kids very immensely and when you see how talented, how beautiful and bright these kids are, there's no way you can't, you know, at least for my best opinion, feel overwhelmed with God's love to just help nurture them, grow them, build them, and you could even say shape their ideologies um, in the Lord's way, which is one of the top things that I feel like um, I did at Nice and even um, outside of school um, now. Well, outside of school as a graduate now with vices of social media and meeting them here and there I'm still trying to do with the next generation because I rest assure you that I feel like the next generation in many cases is beating down the door of society um, of society in many states many countries many cities they're beating down society's door begging for society to give them somebody honorable to look up to giving them somebody um, somebody to care about them. Somebody who's gonna look at them as an actual real human person with real human needs and real human desires, talent, and potential. Um, for example, when it comes to the pro-abortion versus pro-adoption, 
I rest assure you, why in God's name are people fighting for the right to abort their kids? For the love of Jesus Christ, that makes not a flipping bit of sense. Like literally, I would, I would make, it would make all the sense in the world if you were fighting for the right to be pro-adoption. I swear I'm going to put that on my Instagram eventually. Literally, why in God's name are you fighting for the right to kill your kid? Why? Now, I'm going to go back to biblically old times. The only way the Bible permit, permits you killing your kid, or like you like, which is like putting your kid to death, is if your child were to horribly disrespect you, of like physically putting their hands on you in an abusive type of manner, like trying to beat you up or kill you or whatever else. Biblically in old days. Key note, I said biblically in old days. Now, trust me, I do not still stand up for that now. I'm a Bible-believing Christian, but I don't believe we should apply, we should fully apply that logic to today's day and age. I believe we should try to be as mo as as more as mo as most pro-life as we can. And I can't believe y'all don't understand how the devil is literally masquerading in plain sight every single day when it comes to your biased ideologies and viewpoints. Predominantly the fact that you're fighting for the right to abort your your children and or you're fighting for the right to the child's already been born and yet you're still gonna like what? Like, no, the child's already been born. If you don't want to put them up for adoption, you don't just, you know, have them born and then stab them with whatever else and be like, okay, now that's done. That's that's so garbage and I want to say filthy, satanic, and so many other things. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's, it's I want to say it's very negatively ludicrous. And for all you parents out there who fight for the rights to abort your children, just to let you know that I feel like you are an absolute shame and abomination to God. Because I'm telling you that I don't, it makes me want to ask you the question why you even got into bed and had sex to begin with. Now, for all kids who are watching this video, you can possibly, you know, erase the last uh, minute out of your memory, possibly. Um, because you probably have no clue all of what I'm trying to talk to you about. Not really the children I'm really aiming this at. I'm really aiming the, the speech over the last few minutes at the parents. Because I don't understand why a lot of parents are fighting for the rights to abort their, their children. I don't get it. Why did you even lay down and have sex to begin with? You know, just so you can you know, abort your, your child. Like, there's so many sick, twisted things there. It just doesn't make any sense. But that's why I believe a lot of churches are failing their, they're failing the, their flock. Because if a lot of you people claim to be so religious, there's no way in God's name you would you, you'd be fighting for... For the rights to abort your children you wouldn't you we, you you'll be fighting for the rights to i would say healthily raise your children like ladies and gentlemen there's so many people out there that are fighting for the rights to, to even have children fighting for rights to have the build a family and that's the, the top problem i feel like it, it doesn't make any sense you have a lot of people out there that, are, that they're fighting for the rights to literally build families have children but you know, you people, you people are wasting, but you people who have whatever sense of whatever you have, instead of fighting for the exact, instead of fighting for the exact same right, you're fighting for the right to end your families and abort your children and such. It's, it's just complete garbage. And that's how I know a lot of you people aren't truly of God or aren't truly really religious and you're letting the devil just, you know, masquerade in, in your lives. So forth and so forth. But, um... I know I got very much off topic, but I got off topic in this video predominantly because of the fact being that it's just amazing how many school reviews I've read annually where the school reviews literally tell me the faculty and staff don't know what they're doing. The faculty and staff treat the kids very poorly and not kind. I don't get how you treat the kids unpoorly, I mean, how you treat them poorly and not kind when supposedly you have kids your own self. Majority of you do. And if you don't have kids your own self, didn't you get into the profession of teaching or being in education so you could treat kids with love, dignity, respect, so you could be a part of the next generation's path of growth, wisdom, and success? Didn't you? You should have. But a lot of these reviews I've read literally paint the exact opposite picture. Like they got into teaching so they can make kids' lives a living hell, honestly. Is what some of these reviews pretty much you know, spew, because I've read many reviews saying the exact same thing about how the faculty and staff administration, you know, biasly do things and bullying. Why is bullying even condoned anymore? Why do y'all condone bullying? Please tell me that. I mean, you never should. And to read these reviews saying that they just let it happen, it's garbage and disgusting to me. 
more videos coming soon. Thank you all for listening, watching, and subscribing. Sorry I got a little bit off topic, but I kind of needed to because it's a very growing epidemic.